Hello, I'm Chris. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I love this jumper. Thing is, it's a hot jumper, so I can only wear it in the cold weather, which means I am looking forward to wearing the crap out of this jumper this winter. Now, this is not a jumper channel, so let me tell you about 10 fragrances I'm also looking forward to wearing the crap out of this winter. Stay tuned. You know as well as I do, you can wear your fragrances whenever you want, but I've got quite a lot of fragrances, so I do like to break them up to wear them seasonally. So there are some fragrances that I love, some of my absolute favourites, in fact, that I sort of save to wear in the colder months, because for me personally, I think that's when they work best. So I'm going to go through 10. It's a mix of niche and designer, so a bit of something for everyone. We're going to start with one of my favourite brands and one of my favourite all-time fragrances. It ticks so many boxes for me. This one is... Parfum de Mali's Carlisle. So this is like a fruity, apple -y cinnamon fragrance, but I get some tobacco in there as well. It's rich, it's deep, it's heavy, it's sensual. This is one of my most beast mode fragrances. Four or five sprays of this and I'm filling a room, but in a really good way. I think it's classy. I can wear it casually. I can wear it for a nice formal winter occasion. I know this is going to do the job for me every time. It's a bit of a, a dumb reach. It's a high quality dumb reach. Calling it a dumb reach is not throwing shade on this fragrance at all. It is easy to wear, but it smells amazing. It smells high quality. It smells complex. Parfum de Miley's Carlisle, you know I love that one. The next one. This is probably the coziest fragrance on the list. Maison Margiela's Replica by the Fireplace. I've said this before. Every time I talk about this fragrance, this makes me think of that song, that Christmas song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire, because this is a very rich, intense, woody chestnut fragrance. It's sweet. It smells like, uh, you know, the little stalls where someone's selling hot roasted chestnuts on the Christmas markets. It makes me think of that. I wore this and I did a review of this on a snowy mountain high in the Alps in France, which was the perfect place. Uh, we were staying in a wooden chalet in the Alps and uh, it just worked a treat. So when I wear this, I've got memories of that. But even if you've not been to anywhere like that, it will sort of conjure that kind of imagery. Super likeable, very high quality. Very, very cosy, especially if you're sitting by a fireplace, as the name would suggest. Got two Killians next. Now, this is a fairly recent purchase for me. I got this, I think, at the start of this year. I've not actually had a chance to wear it that much. I think it was quite mild at the beginning of this year. I love boozy fragrances, and this is one of the best boozy fragrances I own. This is Angel's Share. So we've got some cognac. I think there's probably some vanilla in here. It's quite a sweet fragrance very calming very relaxing very addictive this performs really well on me this projects quite well so if i'm wearing this that boozy note is just firing off and people are going to be smelling it if you like boozy fragrances this is one of the best if you're not sure about boozy fragrances give this one a sniff try and get a sample if you can because it doesn't smell like old stale alcohol or anything like that it takes the idea of alcohol and how you enjoy it when you taste it and translates the enjoyment of taste into an olfactory experience, if that makes sense. Woody, cognac, rich, smooth. Angel Share is just a real treat for the winter. We're going with another Killian, uh, another of my favorite boozy fragrances. This time the boozy note is rum and it's by Killian's Black Phantom. As well as the rum, we've got some chocolate, some vanilla, and caramel so it's a very rich gourmand fragrance but it's not sickly sweet i remember wearing this a few winters ago when we went ice skating me and my family went ice skating and we had uh, well they had hot chocolates and, and i had coffee there's also a coffee note in this so it was just the perfect time because i could smell the chocolate i could smell the coffee uh, it was cold we were skating on ice i was wearing this fragrance I've just got great memories intertwined with this fragrance. It's very classy, very rich, so very winter appropriate. Put this on with a nice hot jumper, like the one I'm wearing, and uh, it does the job. Anyone who's ever smelled Black Phantom knows, and I love wearing this one in the winter. We're going on to a Tom Ford next. This is Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. I'd say this is probably the most fun fragrance out of all of them on this list. So you've got vanilla you've got this kulfi note that people talk about and it was only recently that i actually had the kulfi dessert which is an indian dessert i was in an indian restaurant so i thought you know what i'm going to try that tom ford extreme note so i know what it tastes like 
and I can compare that to how it smells. And it does, it does sort of, I think Kulfi maybe is like vanilla pistachio. So it's a sweet, creamy, nutty smell. So you get that in this fragrance. It's just very classy, very sexy. I wore this on a night out in London recently and it went down a tree. I actually combined it with Molecule 01 just to try and, you know, give it a little more power and uh, longevity. And a few people that night said that it smelled great and uh, it made them want to go out and, and, you know, put a spray of their bottle on. So you're not going to go wrong with this. Wear it casually, wear this on a night out and uh, it's going to get noticed in a really, really good way. A cheapie next. Got a couple of cheapies actually. So we're on to another designer here. This is Zadig and Voltaire. This is him. So this is around about £30 for this 50ml bottle. It's like a creamy citrusy fragrance. So I get a cheesecake vibe from this fragrance. So if you like the taste of cheesecake, you're not going to smell like a cheesecake. People aren't going to smell you and go, who's eating a cheesecake? Nothing like that. It's just got that lovely decadent, rich, dessert-like feel, but in a very wearable way. I think it's incredibly likeable, very mass appealing. Again, this is probably going to get you some attention. This doesn't smell like a designer fragrance to me. It's not got those cheap aroma chemicals that I use to create this very mass appealing Ambroxan-like projection. None of that. This smells like it's got a niche fragrance profile and it's got the performance of a high quality fragrance as well. I get good performance off this. So it's a nice, thick, rich, creamy citrus fragrance that performs really well. Definitely recommend that for the price. If you've not got it, it's probably worth a blind buy. I don't recommend blind buying, but at that price, you know, if you think you like cheesecake type smells, then, you know, maybe, maybe give it a go. Another designer, we're going with Hugo Boss, the scent private accord. This does smell more designery than the previous one, but in a good way. It's again, quite a rich fragrance, but it does have that designery type smell to it. And I know a lot of people really like that smell. It's just a super mass appealing type of smell. So it's a little bit fruity. There's a note of, is it Manuka? No, not Manuka. That is a type of honey. I knew that. Maninka that fruit that everybody knows. Oh, well, I think it's a fruit because you get a very fruity profile to this mixed in with some cacao, vanilla. There's a little bit of coffee. I just think this is a great fragrance if you have not really delved into niche, but you want to take your designer fragrance wearing to the next level, maybe go for something just a little bit richer than a lot of designer mass appealing fragrances. Anyway, if you like sweet fragrances, if you like diffusive fragrances and you like mass appealing fragrances and you want all that sweet, good stuff rolled into there, then Boss the Scent Private Accord is definitely one of my favorites that I'll be wearing the crap out of over winter. I wear the crap out of this one every winter. This is Spice Bomb Extreme. What do I need to say about this? This is a fragrance I talk about in several videos every winter, as does every other fragrance YouTuber. It's got some tobacco, it's got some vanilla, it's got all those lovely spices of Spice Bomb. It's rich, it's warming, it's comforting. Cozy jumper, by a fire, going out in a nightclub for a winter night out, Christmas do, boom does the job for pretty much anything you want to do during the winter. It's a very nice fragrance. It's a compliment getter. It's a 10 out of 10 designer fragrance for me. This one of my absolute favorites. I always do some kind of cheap effect to do with the grenade, with the bomb. So I don't, I don't think I'll bother doing that this year. I'll just toss it up and, and catch it and uh, not put any cheap effects in whatsoever. But there we go. Spice Bomb Extreme from Victor and Rolf. Two left. Only smelt this one recently. This is the brand new Interlude 53, as if Interlude Man from Amouage needed to be any stronger. Well, it is, it's 53%. But I've come to realize that a higher concentration of perfume oil within the fragrance does not necessarily make it more beast mode. If anything, it's the other way because it's got less alcohol in here to help it uh, jump off the skin. It's slightly less diffusive, so it does sit a little closer to the skin. It's a bit more well-behaved than the original Interlude Man, which was definitely a room filler. I think this dials it back enough to make it a more wearable fragrance, a more socially acceptable fragrance. I love Interlude Man, but it is a very strong fragrance that could be a little too much for some people. But I think this 
smooths things off, it rounds out the edges a little bit, it dials back that performance to, it's still amazing performance and projection, but it just dials it back to maybe being a little more socially acceptable. I love this, it's, it's definitely a winter fragrance for me because it is so dark and brooding and mysterious. You know what Interlude Man smells like. This is just a slightly more wearable version of Interlude Man, highly recommended. I think I'll get through this pretty fast after I've worn the crap out of it this winter. Last one. This is from Galleria Parfums. This is from Ashton. Ashton from Gentsense. He's got a fragrance line. Galleria. Uh, I talked about Cognac Cafe, which was another of theirs. Not too dissimilar to Black Phantom uh, from Killian, but slightly different. This one is my favourite from the line because, of course, it's tobacco. That is my favourite note. This is like tobacco, chocolate and alcohol. And I can't describe this any better than George, the fragrance apprentice, my mate. He said that this reminds him of those chocolates you get at Christmas that have an alcoholic liqueur inside them. So you've got the chocolate and you've got that sweet alcoholic liquid inside. So this sort of smells a little bit like those, but the tobacco in here is so intense. Oh, I don't know what it is, whether it's the woods or what, but there's something so intense, but in a really good and in a really addictive way. It's not a very sweet tobacco fragrance, but I do feel like the tobacco is the hero note in this. I love it. I can wear it anytime, but for me, this is the perfect winter formal scent. I'm hoping I have a lot of chance to go to some winter formal events because I'm supposed to be wearing the crap out of this in the winter. If not, uh, I'll wear the crap out of it on my own in the house, just wearing my Christmas jumper watching Christmas movies. All right, how about that? So there we go. 10 stunning fragrances that I think work really well in the winter, especially when you're wearing a hot jumper like this one. Uh, let me know what you think of these fragrances. Have you tried any of these? I hope it's introduced uh, a few extra options to what you might consider if you like to wear your fragrances seasonally through the winter. Let me know what fragrances you'll be wearing the crap out of this winter. If you found this video useful, please give it a like, maybe even subscribe. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.